Assalamu alaikum everyone. Yes, I'm back with a new video in today's video. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Yes, I'm back with a new video in today's video. I'm going to be trying out a new Samyang ramen flavor. Today's Samyang ramen flavor is... Samyang ramen flavor curry. And I'm going to show you all the details of this particular Samyang ramen. So let's get started. So here it is up close. As you can see, it is halal certified, made in Korea. And here it is, stir fried noodles. Let's flip this over. I'm going to be cooking these exactly how it is written here. Let's open to reveal the treasures within. So here we have the noodle block. Very, very thick. The flakes packet and the liquid soup. Mmm. And these are the stragglers. The noodles are made up of wheat flour, but if I tap you on the start, we find palm oil, we gluten, we find salt, emulsifiers, soy lecithin, acidity regulator, potassium carbonate, and hydrous, sodium carbonate, sodium phosphate, diabetes, citric acid, thickener is guar gum. And then we have green tea flavor oil. And then we have the flakes packet. So for the flakies, we have dried carrot flakes, dried onion flakes, and dried bok choy. For the liquid soup, I'm not going to open it here. I'm going to show it to you when we are cooking the noodles. Psych! Here is the liquid soup. It is water, white sugar, butter, flavor sauce, flavor enhancer, monosodium glutamate, disodium ribonucleotide, artificial chicken flavor, whole milk powder, artificial chicken flavor powder, soy sauce, milk powder, soybean oil, onion curry powder, chili pepper powder, salt, chili powder, garlic, cumin powder, pepper extract, decolorized chili extract, black pepper powder, nut met, nut met, nutmeg powder. Here are the ingredients all ready to go. Let's get to the kitchen and cook this up. Follow me. So everyone, I'm here at the other kitchen. All the stuff is right here. I have 600 ml of bottled water right here. Let's turn on the stove. Ooh. Put the pot on, put the water. Now we let the water boil and then I'm going to add the noodle block and the flakes. Okay, the water is boiling. Let's put in the, oops. Okay, let's put that in. I also put in the stragglers. And then I'm going to put in the vegetable flakes. We're going to cook this for five minutes. See you in five minutes. Setting the timer for five minutes. Oops, five minutes start. Oh, this kitty came back. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. What's up, I know? <laughs> okay, be sure to stir occasionally just to separate the noodles so that they don't stick together and they cook evenly. Okay, so I've named her Fluffy and she brought a friend. I named your friend Tux because it's black and white. It's They're both adorable. I'm very hungry. Finish? What's Fluffy doing? Let's check on Fluffy. Fluffy, what are you doing? Five, four, three, two, one. The noodles are done. Turn off the stove. Remove eight spoons of water. Eight. Okay, that's eight spoons. Mix it with the liquid soup. Now I'm going to drain the noodles. And then we're going to just add it to that. And we're done. Now, as you can see, I have drained the water. Now for 30 seconds, we're just gonna quickly stir fry here. 
Okay, 30 seconds. I don't want to boil anything. I'm just going to switch off, switch off. I'm going to turn off the stove and with that residual heat, it's just going to gloss these noodles, hopefully. Okay, so let me plate that. The plate is right here and we'll plate it. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Now the flakies have hydrated very well. See how shiny the noodles are. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. How is that? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mmm. Okay. The, the first thing is the heat. Now the heat, the spice is so flavorful it's not that death heat that you get from the typical samyang okay the spice level is so amazing like really really well balanced the noodles are so delicious so chewy and all these flakies are giving such amazing texture oh this is really good my second favorite samyang the first one is the cheese one. Now the curry smell was very dominant during the 30 second stir frying session. Now although the liquid soup was very thick, it diluted well with the recommended 8 spoons of noodle broth and it coated the noodles very well. The amount of veggie flakes was very disappointing as it really provided great textures along with the soup and noodles. I wish they had added more, like a lot more. Now the noodle block is tightly packed but separated very well in the boiling water and were very chewy and glossy. It did not turn into mush or clump together, which is great. Now as I mentioned earlier, Samyang's curry spice was very muted in this dish. Mm. And I don't know if it's only me, but there was a slight sweetness in this curry flavor. Like just so subtle enough to be pleasant but not ruin a noodle dish. Kind of like a sweet Korean um, curry thing going on, which is all good. Now the spiciness does sting your lips and your tongue for a little while, but it's very bearable. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Fiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.